Hi folks, Dave, the Honest Audio File. This is the Matrix X Saber 3, and these are my Honest Audio File impressions. I want to thank Oppos Audio for providing the X Saber 3 for review. Do greatly appreciate it. Oppos Audio, you rock. Check out the links down below. I do have an affiliate link with Oppos Audio. Please keep in mind, Oppos Audio has not influenced this review in any way. They have not asked me to give positive or negative thoughts on it, and they have not in any way paid me, sponsored me, or supported me with my review for the X Saber 3. The only thing they did was provide it for review and ask that I give my honest thoughts. So all thoughts and opinions are my own. Also, if you are here to find out about the X Saber 3's capabilities as a streamer, I recommend you look elsewhere. This review is going to focus on the build quality, the functionality of it as a DAC and how it sounds and compares to the other DACs that I currently have in the office. So if you're looking for all the abilities about Rune and all the Wi-Fi's and all that kind of stuff, feel free to look elsewhere. All right, so the Matrix Audio X Saber 3. This is a DAC streamer. Comes in at a price tag of $3,000. <clears> and uh, as I said, it does do streaming. It is Rune capable. It does connect with Tidal and Spotify Connect. And it does work. All of that. I did test it, but I did not use it that way. I used it as USB in on my PC. All right, so it has a Sabre ES9038 Pro DAC chip in it. And it has all sorts of inputs and connectivities, however you want to do it. It is coaxial and uh, optical and AES, EBU, I2S, and USB. It has all those inputs. And then you get two outputs, RCA and XLR. You can do the outputs fixed or variable. And you'll also get... A remote control. I would plug this in and show you how it runs on the front panel, but unfortunately the power cable is too short for me to be able to do. Plus this thing weighs a ton and is extremely heavy. All right, so this whole front panel does light up and it is touch capable. So you have your power buttons and all kinds of different settings and all that that you can touch or you can use a remote. And then here in the middle, the little itty bitty screen does show you your information regarding your bit rates and your file information, whether or not it's DSD, MQA, 1641, or there, you know, anything else of the sort. And if it is Rune, it'll display other information. I find overall that it is built extremely well, has nice feet on the bottom, and it just sits on the desk and uh, it takes up a lot of space. This thing is wide and heavy. It's not the deepest thing, but man, it is heavy and wide, nice and thin, and very reflective. Make sure you have a cleaning cloth handy. All right, as far as the usages that I used it for as a DAC, I used it going into a Headamp GSX Mini, a Tor Audio Roger, and a Drop One Linear. And I found that it sounds fantastic. I had no complaints whatsoever. I did use it with powered speakers as well. I used it with the Monoprice MM5Rs. Overall, the sound signature is a very much transparent and clean sound. It has a little bit of warmth to it and excellent extension throughout um, into the bass and the treble is very well extended and you get some really nice details and resolution from the X Saber 3. This is the best detailed and resolving DAC that I've ever heard. And it rivals the Element X. They are exceptional. And they are the only two DACs that have come into my office that have beat my MyTech Liberty when it comes to detail retrieval and resolution. I really enjoy the base of the X Saber 3. It has good impact, good resolution, and very good tone and timbre to it. And it is well controlled. There's no distortion, no matter what the volume levels, it does an exceptional job. The mids are very, very clean and analytical sounding. 
and they have a good amount of just warmth and they just ooze realism. And then the treble. The treble is well controlled, has a good amount of air and energy to it, and everything just rolls. And it's a very clean and smooth sound. Soundstage is exceptional on the X-Saber 3. I find that the soundstage does a good job of portraying it and being very accurate based on what I would think is the size of the venue in which the recording is from, whether it's small and intimate or large and huge and just massive. It does a good job of giving you that sense of realism. And depth and layering is crazy good. And it doesn't matter if there's only a couple instruments or if there's a hundred instruments going on. It's always very layered and accurate and true and you can pick apart and dissect the stages very well. Imaging is also done very well. Things flow across the stage. There's no gaps and it's just, it just envelops you and, and it just feels accurate. In comparison to the MyTech Liberty, the MyTech Liberty is my benchmark DAC and amp. And as a DAC, the MyTech Liberty is very accurate and very true tonally and also with details and resolution. As I've already said, the X Saber 3 does a little bit better job with detail retrieval and resolution. We're not talking a massive amount, just a slight subtle difference. As far as everything else, it's just very subtly different. But there's one thing that stands out to me. The MyTech Liberty does a better job of giving air and giving a natural, realistic sense of the sharpness and edge and crispness that you get in a natural setting. To me, the MyTech Liberty sounds a little bit more naturally correct than the X Saber 3. The X Saber 3 just feels like it's trying to be a little more smooth and rounded. And it, it loses that little bit of bite and harshness and, and sharpness and edginess that you get in real life. And it just doesn't portray that like the Element X did and like the MyTech Liberty does. I like the X Saber 3. And I really enjoy the X Saber 3. But for $3,000, I'm not going to use 75% of what's included in it. I'm not going to use it as a streamer. I'm not going to use it all with all the functionalities of the filters and all that kind of stuff. I just want a DAC. And I just want something that sounds natural and accurate and true. And for $3,000, I don't get that with the Saber X3. Or the X Saber 3, excuse me. I really enjoy this and it sounds fantastic, but it doesn't quite give me what I'm looking for. And I don't feel like it's worth the extra $2,000 over my MyTech Liberty. This has been Dave, the Honest Audiophile. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next video. Speaking of next videos, somewhere on the screen, subscription links, notification bells. If you haven't already, check those off and then give a thumbs up or a thumbs down to the video and also check out the links down below for my affiliate link to Oppos and for all kinds of other information regarding how you contact the channel, support the channel, follow the channel, gear recommendations, music recommendations, all kinds of good stuff. Check out those links down below and don't forget to enjoy the music and honesty is the best policy.